Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to Agrimar on Normal and Heroic in Antorus, the Burning Throne. Yes, this is a three phase encounter with an intermission between each phase. The boss has simple abilities, so during each phase he's pretty easy to deal with. However, the difficulty of this encounter lies in the intermissions. On Heroic, the raid damage for this encounter is pretty high, so you may want to bring an additional healer for this fight. So let's kick straight into it and talk about phase one. For ranged and melee players, you need to watch out for Wake of Flame. When this ability is cast, the boss will spawn fires in melee. After a couple of seconds, these fires will shoot out in different lines. Getting hit applies a burst of damage to that player and also applies a very nasty dart. The lines always fire out in the exact same formation, so once you've seen them a few times, they become very easy to predict. Range players need to be spread for Scorching Blaze. This debuff is applied to multiple players and deals instant ticking damage. This damage also splashes to nearby players. It's vital that you're not stacked when this debuff comes in, otherwise potentially you're all going to splash lethal damage onto each other, killing multiple people. As for your tanks, you guys always need to be stacked. The boss's melee attacks will always attempt to strike the next closest player, and if there isn't anyone nearby, he'll instead hit the tank twice. By being stacked, this splits the damage. While tanking the boss, you will be gaining stacks of 5% physical damage taken increased debuffs, and these last 12 seconds. This stack's pretty fast, you'll want to taunt around the 7 stack mark or sooner if possible. The last thing for you to know in this phase is that 100% energy, Agrimar will begin a series of 5 attacks, one after another. First, he'll cast Foe Breaker. This deals a massive amount of physical damage in a cone. The tank with the lowest amount of physical damage taken increased stacks wants to take this hit first, while using a very large damage reduction. When hit, you'll also receive a debuff increasing the damage you take from Foe Breaker by 500%. Next up is Flame Rend. This again is another cone, however the damage is split between all players hit. The raid must move underneath the boss, ready to take this damage. You'll want your other tank to taunt and face the boss towards the raid. The same tank that has now just taunted, now needs to face the boss away for the next Foe Breaker hit, once again using a large damage reduction for the hit. You'll then have another Flame Rend, you'll want to turn the boss so the raid can share the damage once again, and then finally the raid will need to run away as the boss casts Searing Tempest. This deals a huge amount of damage to all players within the massive targeting circle, and also disorients them. After the cast is finished, the fight just goes back to normal. Once you get the boss to 80%, the first intermission will begin. The boss will move into the middle of the room and place a shield around himself, reducing the damage he takes to pretty much zero. You want to keep away from the shield as it will knock you back and deal damage to you. You'll now have eight ad spawn. Six embers will spawn around the outskirts of the room and begin to move towards Agrimar. If they reach him, they explode, dealing a large burst of damage to the raid and applying a 20 second dot which also increases the damage you take from other ad explosions by 100%. You need to kill these ads on normal mode before they reach the boss. On Heroic, however, when these ads die, they'll just respawn 18 seconds later. Instead, you just need to let them hit the boss. This is the only way you can remove them from the fight. However, of course, you can't let them all hit the boss at once because you're just going to die to the high dot stack, so instead, you must stagger them. The moment the phase begins, we set up hard CC on five of these embers. Almost all forms of CC works, paralyzed, frost traps, roots, banishes, they're kind of some of the best ones you can use, and in situations where hard CC breaks, you can just knock them back or slow them. The single ember that isn't crowd controlled, we grip straight into the boss and let him explode. Each time an ad explodes, we also use a healing cooldown just to cover some of the damage. Now whilst the other adds are crowd controlled, or after they've all been killed off on normal mode, the raid wants to focus their attention and kill off the two big flame adds. These guys have an aura that increases the damage of nearby adds by 50%. As a result, you'll need to have a tank pick up each of them and have them spread at least 15 yards apart. Whilst tanking, you also want to keep away from any of the little ember adds. This aura will also affect them, it'll increase their movement speed while making them immune to CC, and of course it'll make their explosion deal 50% more damage when they reach the boss. While alive, these flame adds also deal increasing ticking damage to the raid, so you really need to kill these guys off as soon as you possibly can. You also must dodge the large meteors that land from the sky throughout this phase, as getting hit by one of these can kill you when the raid damage is high. Once you killed off both of the big flame adds, phase 2 will begin. This phase is the same as the first, except instead of having wake of flame lines, you'll now have flares. When the boss casts this, it will spawn three large zones within the room underneath range players that grow and explode after 4 seconds. If you're within a zone when it explodes, you're pretty much dead. This ability does overlap with Scorching Blaze. This can cause moments where players are moving in the same direction away from a flare circle, while Scorching Blazes are applied at the same time. 
you need to be extra cautious not to splash damage onto other players at this point, and the best way of doing that really is just by spreading more than you did in the previous phase. Now on Heroic, you're still going to have the Ember adds from the previous phase. We continue just to crowd control them, but we slowly one by one break the CC and grip them into the boss to let them explode. Whilst doing this, you need to make sure that the raid is healthy beforehand, otherwise people will die. And of course, you must wait out the 20 second dot before allowing a new ad to explode on the boss. Now you might be thinking, why can't I just CC them forever? Well, the moment they have spawned in the intermission, they've started to gain energy. After three minutes, they'll reach 100% and explode regardless if they're near the boss or not. You can probably just let a single ad reach 100% energy by itself, providing you don't have the dot on you at the exact same time. But if multiple ads all reach 100% energy at the exact same time, you're almost certainly going to wipe. One thing to keep in mind when gripping the adds to the boss is the series of five attacks that he does. The flame rend raid hit with the additional damage from an explosion or the damage from the dot can be really nasty. We recommend that you do not allow the adds to hit the boss during this time, but if you have the dot beforehand, you may need to use additional healing cooldowns to cover it. Once you've got the hang of dealing with these adds without killing your raid, the boss will transition once again at 40%. Now this intermission is the same as the previous, and therefore the strategy pretty much remains the same. On Heroic, you do now have single wake of flame lines shooting out from the boss's shield. You now need to keep an eye near the shield, because if you're hit by the additional damage, plus the damage from the flame adds, plus maybe an ad explosion dot, you're going to die. Once you've got that intermission over, you'll now have the final phase. This phase plays out identically to phase two. The only additional thing to watch out for is that the flares now send out wake of flame lines when they explode. Keeping extra distance from the flares gives you more time to dodge the wake of flames, but ultimately if you keep an eye out for these waves every single time, you shouldn't really get hit. If you are hit, just like the intermission, the extra damage on top of the adds explosions can be extremely dangerous. Aside from that, play out the phase just like you did in phase 2, making sure that you explode the adds in a staggered way, and eventually, the boss will die and you'll be good. To see a breakdown of this encounter in a written format, then please do go check out our guide over on Wowhead. The link for that can be found in the description below. And if this video helped you out at all, then do drop us down a like. The support is appreciated. But if you wish to go that step further, then consider sponsoring us on our Patreon page, like all these fantastic people you see on screen now. The link for that is also in the description. But thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.